Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Caesar here, and today we're going to be dissecting the Volgaro announcement trailer. There's so much to unpack here, guys. I'm going to have to keep going back and forth to, like, you know, show everything. But uh, I just want to point out that I was right. I called it. I said that new dino was going to be in a map. Everybody was like, no, 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 they're just going to release the dino. And I knew, especially when I found out that the dino was going to have its own, like, eggs in, like, nests. I knew for a fact that this was going to end up being, it, like, in a map. I didn't know there was going to be Valgaro. I thought it might be Valgaro or Crystal Isles. And I also don't know much about Valgaro. I've never played on it. Um, I know that, like, some unofficial servers have run previous versions of it. But this is going to be an official map. Um, I don't think it's going to be part of the official arc story. I think it's going to be like Ragnarok or Center where it's, you know, alongside. And we'll get more into that here in a minute. But we're just going to start going through some parts of this map reveal trailer. And like pointing out some things that you guys might not see that's not readily apparent. Because it's only a minute and 30 seconds long. And there's a lot here to uncover. So first off, we're opened up to the map with, you know, beautiful landscape scene. Uh, just showing just the massive scale of this map. You know, we've got the obelisks and everything, just your standard stuff. But then this right here, this looks to me like a scar full of ice wyverns. And if there's a scar where I can farm ice wyverns, I am going to be so stoked. They're easily top two favorite wyverns. Poison for me has always been my favorite. I like the poison's ability. Um, it's just like my favorite go-to, even with the... Uh, addition of the ice but the ice is a very close second um i always thought the ice felt a little bit underwhelming but that's probably because when i would go and get eggs for it i would end up getting like whatever i could find so i couldn't really like hone out like a really good ice wyvern but if they have a scar just full of ice wyverns like it looks there i think those are all ices i couldn't really tell on that top one yeah that's nice as well then this will mean that I can just farm out Ice Wyvern eggs until I get really, really good ones. And then it'll really, like, unlock that potential of how good they can be. I feel like, unless you're in, like, a really, really massive tribe that farms them all the time, not a lot of people really get the option to get, like, a really good 185, 190 roll on Ice Wyverns. So this would be an amazing thing if that turns out to be a scar. Um, so that, actually, that shot there is a little cheeky shot um it looks like it's just you know background or anything but this to me looks like we're inside of a cave behind a waterfall which could actually be a really good base location these are things that i look for whenever i get new information on a map is you know where would be like good spots to build and if there's some caves with like waterfalls and stuff especially for people who don't know a lot about the map it's going to be really like a good spot to build even if it's not the strongest cave just early on it'll be a great early game base location so i'm really stoked about that the next shot is just again showing how great this map is um it's got a lot of like elevation and stuff so you're definitely going to need flyers to really experience this map to its fullest uh, i think these mountains here in the background are most likely outside the world border but the you know versatility of like how high and low this map is is going to make it really good for you know base locations and things like that and again we've got a lot more waterfalls which like i said earlier could have caves behind them which is amazing uh here we have the standard every arc trailer ever pve what the fuck even is this shot where you've got a tech quetzal with a gatling gun on it some pve houses and stuff stuff that you would realistically never see i'm not sure exactly why they show stuff like this i guess it's to pull people in who've never seen anything about arc this right here is always my least favorite part of the trailer um for every trailer that they release and i, I again i just I, I don't understand why they do these shots you will never see anything like this unless you're on a pve server and if you're on a pve server i don't know why you would need a gatling gun i, I guess to shoot dinosaurs it, it's got tech foundations on it like I, I don't know what they're doing with this. Uh, the, the ballista. No, nobody would ever use that. Alright, so 
let me just I'm, I'm trying to like scrub through here uh, this is only my second or third time watching this trailer I always like to look at the dinos that they show in the trailer see if there's anything cheeky they try and like hide in there so the cool thing is there's griffins on here uh, love them or hate them griffins are one of the best flying teams in the game and I know that some people cough cough bam feel that they're a little overpowered by being able to shoot off of them and sniping dinos and stuff and he's you know a lot of people aren't fans of the griffin lately but to get around a map of this size and to be able to run the scar and to be able to run whatever the new scar is for the new uh diana curious or whatever it is that the new like map exclusive dino a griffin's gonna do you a lot better than a pt so i am stoked to see that even though i do agree sometimes you know griffins can be a little bit much and here's the first shot that we get of the new dino let's take a look here now in stature these things are only a little bit bigger than a raptor but as you can see here they're i mean no they're actually quite a bit bigger than a raptor let me just take a peek here let me see yeah so i'd say they're about like body wise the size of a carno with their tail length they're they're a lot longer but this this right here is like the most interesting thing to me so for one you have multiple of them jump on the same dino so that's a cool thing to find out because when i heard they could latch on to dinosaurs i didn't know if they were going to limit the number they could latch on or if they were going to make it to where you could just have as many as possible the other thing is um they do produce a bleed effect i'm pretty sure uh, i saw somebody say that and i think it was in the dossier i'm not a hundred percent certain on that i'll double back and check and then i'll put whether or not there's any solid information on screen but the part that i'm really interested in is the way that they show and again this is a trailer the devs don't always show the most realistic situations playing out but they show the way that they deal with the dinos as people on the ground shooting them and that kind of lends to the idea especially with this one here on the back this one on the front maybe could be hit by the rider but this one on the back the hitbox doesn't hit there so if you realistically i don't know what the stats on these things are going to be like but if you had a really good one of these, I don't know if they're breedable, I don't think they are since you get eggs. If you had a good one of these, you could potentially kill any wild dino for free with it. Unless you can only latch for a certain period of time or it takes a lot of stamina or something. And it would force people to jump off of their dino in PvP or have a teammate come up and try and attack you. Um, it doesn't look like they have a saddle though. So that does make them a little bit weaker, but I think they're going to be meta as long as there's some sort of, um, you know, use for them. This is really cool. I, like I said, I've not played any Volgaro. You can see the little guy picking up here. I don't know how he would have got there in the first place, but that's what he's doing. But I, I didn't know Volgaro had a bunch of assets from Aberration, which is really refreshing to see because the biggest complaint that people have about Aberration is that no flyers and flyers. I've been on servers like um, dedicated ones where they allow flyers on Ab and it completely breaks the map like 100% it, it ruins it. But with this in mind, like the person who made Volgaro, Volgaro, I don't know how it's pronounced person who made this built the map with flyers in mind so you don't see any shots with flyers down here but i would assume that they're going to be able to come down here at least you could you know bring something i mean i would assume you could get down here i don't see why not and and th that like to me is really cool because i like a lot of the stuff a lot of the assets from aberration aberration to me is like the best map it looks the best and for them to reuse those assets here in a map that's going to basically do for aberration what ragnarok did for scorched earth and bring that stuff in i'm really excited to see and you can see that it's not just the uh, green biome here because we get like the slightly uh purplish part of the bioluminescent biome with the crystals and things like that and the drops that are akin to the um ones on ab and then this even looks like it's um, down in the radiation biome where you get rock drakes and stuff. You can actually see a seeker flying around. So I don't know if rock drakes are going to be on this map. I don't think they will be. I didn't see any in the trailer. But I would be overjoyed if there was a map that had rock drakes and griffins and flyers and like all this stuff. Because in the, the ice wyvern scar and all that. Because it's like all my favorite things in one map. If there's rock drakes on here, I'm going to freak. So... 
Uh, we have this here, which looks to me like a cave that you go into to get an artifact. And I do like that, you know, with these modded maps that become official, they're getting better and better at, like, incorporating cool, unique things. So, like, this has, like, a door that opens or something. And it's, it's like, it's more lively than the caves that they have on the official maps, to be honest. Like, um... On the island, the caves are very basic. The island was made a long time ago, though, so that's fair. And then even on, like, uh, Extinction and Aberration, the, the, the caves just felt really, like, stale and, and not very, like, complex or anything. So it's cool to see that. We got the return of the glow stick, the most useless item in the game. And a really deep, deep cavern. And yeah, this is the same group that we saw go in there. So yeah, we're going to assume that this is one of the artifact caves. That's, uh, I believe, one of the artifacts that you get on Aberration, if I'm not wrong. And what was that? Okay, so we I, I don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to go back for a second. So we have a Ravager here. So those clearly spawn on the map as well. So we have a Ravager. We have Seekers. So I wonder what other aberrant creatures we might have i didn't even think about this but they might not do rock drakes because there's the diana curious but they might do um reapers because reapers were not the flagship creature for aberration um if you go by like the logic of if it has a nest it's the flagship creature kind of thing so maybe there'll be reapers on there as well let's see so here we have a shot of another biome it's more like the desolate like area near Viking Bay kind of we got just a dimorph and an RG uh, here's somebody who made a mistake and decided they were gonna try and do the Dianacurus uh, stuff with climbing picks and nothing else and the more that I look at these things the more that I think I I've said in the past that it's like generally accepted that rock drakes were um, mutated versions of wyverns but I honestly I think that the rock drakes are mutated versions of the Dianacurus because this thing it, it looks a lot like a rock drake this is some cool underwater cave with a statue of a t-rex I, I have no idea I think it's probably gonna be another artifact cave um, here's another weird PvE shot of people getting scared of one allosaur and then this this shot here of some war chief sending a, a Dianacurus to, to eat somebody so yeah there's that and then this this is the part that um makes me think that this is not going to be part of the like official arc storyline as far as the lore and everything goes we probably won't have explorer notes and things like that the only bosses that were shown are the broodmother which is a boss from another map here we have another shot of the scar with an ice wyvern in it so i'm i'm like 80 percent sure they're going to be able to farm ice wyvern eggs in a scar i'm so stoked about that and then the other shot that we get of a boss fight is the dragon manacore fight just like rag this one actually looks like um it might be more of a tight arena with a lot more obstacles so maybe the rhinos wouldn't be the route to go there there is water and i do see a spino here so i th would think wait a minute is this the same area from earlier in the trailer they might have you spawn the bosses in a similar manner how they spawn the titans on extinction because this doesn't look like a boss arena this looks kind of similar to the um to the shot with the rg and then this shot here reminds me of a lot of this shot here that showed kind of like the versatility of the map so maybe you spawn in the bosses and they'll be like a world boss that would be really cool because I liked that addition on Extinction because um, I know before we were strong enough to go and kill the Titans and stuff, when we played on Extinction Small Tribes on PS4, um, the people who were running the bosses, some of the tribes were a lot cooler than others and would like let anybody come and get the Engrams. They wouldn't like, you know, they'd kill you if you got too close to the boss because it drops loot and, you know, stuff like that. But... If these are going to be world bosses as well, that would be really good for, you know, the whole community thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they do have a rhino in there, so maybe maybe the rhino meta will still be the thing. So here we have the first shot of a Dinocurus, um nest. I'm assuming that little green thing is the egg. The weird thing is these are babies, and this might just be for trailer purposes. But does that mean that we're going to be able to find baby ones and maybe, like, tame those, but then also get the eggs and get, like, stronger ones? Or 
I mean, honestly, I don't think they're going to go that much of a change in the formula. I think it's just for trailer purposes, but you never know. They try and innovate whenever possible. Um, I do think that these are going to be in those really high up peaks that we saw early on in the trailer, though. So again, you're going to need a really good flyer. And I would assume the wild ones are going to be able to pounce just like the themed ones. So more than likely, if you get caught, you're going to have to kill them. So, I mean... I don't know if you guys ever run for rock drake eggs and you get caught by a whole pack of the rock drakes, but if you get caught by a whole pack of those things, you're pretty much dead. And I would assume it'd probably be the same thing with these since they're pretty similar. And yeah, that, that's all that we have for this trailer. Um, so let's go over some more sweeping points here really quick. So this is going to be an official map. It's going to be coming to all consoles. It's not just going to be for PC. Um, there is rumors that it might release today. Uh, the only information that we have so far is that at 6 p.m. EST, they're going to talk more about the map. Now, it's been a long time since Scorched Earth came out and a lot of the community played after it released, myself included, but Scorched Earth was announced and released on the same day. So there is a possibility that this will release the same day that it's announced. However, this is where things get a little complicated. This is a modded map. So this map was created by the community. Which means, just like the center and just like RAG, this should be a free map. However, I don't know if that's going to be the case with this since they made a brand new creature for it. I mean, they did introduce the Ice Wyverns and the Griffins for Ragnarok, but I'm not sure if that was something that they did in-house or if they took that from the existing map. I didn't follow Ragnarok's uh, development. So hopefully this will be free when it does release. Traditionally, if it's a map that includes stuff with the Ark lore, it's not free, so Scorched Earth. Extinction Aberration, all were paid DLCs, all continued the Ark storyline, but, you know, it, everything is open to change, so, you never know. Anyways guys, I think that's pretty much everything that we have to go over. I'm going to make another update video when the uh, information uh, releases for the map at 6pm, and we'll do that. I, I mean, it's going to be crazy, like... I'm going to have a lot of uploads in the next couple of days because anytime there's new information, I'm going to want to cover it. I am still, you know, working, <laughs> I mean, even right now, I'm working on editing an MTS episode. And I just got a, uh, a message on Discord from uh, my channel manager and he let me know that that was going on. So, yeah, I mean, I am still doing that. Uh, I know BAM server is released, guys, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we go. Bam released two servers, and then he expanded it to five, I believe. And if you look here, PS4 has a thing where you're able to um, get more than the loud players in, as long as there's a slot and multiple people join at the same time. There was at one point, um, the Ragnarok server was sitting at 160 out of 70. So I'm going to let the, the, the Bam servers cool off for a little while, like... After the first few days, people will, you know, chill out, and I'll be able to get in there. So I am going to be doing a series on that as well. Don't worry about that, guys. But yeah, I just wanted to bring this information to you guys as soon as possible, and, you know, give you uh, every, like, little ounce of information that I was able to extract from this trailer. If you guys saw anything at all about this map or know anything from playing it that, you know, I didn't cover, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I want to learn as much as I can so I can hit the ground running as soon as these release. If they release these servers today, then the MTS episodes are going to get even more spaced out because I'm going to have to go and start making content on this immediately. I don't know if I'll do MTS Volgaro or if I'll do official six-man Volgaro. It just depends on what group of people, um you know, I can get a hold of. If I can get a hold of enough people to do a six-man, then I'll go do that. But the servers will probably be slammed for the first couple days, so I'll probably do MTS in the meantime anyways. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.